loaded Range Rover, man. I'm using the brake of the car to brake, guys. You guys see what this? Oh, 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 oh. I see right there, man. That's 5.0. Pushing out 460 horsepower. Play back with another video for y'all today. Today, what I got for y'all, man, I got some luxury out of this world. I got a 2018 E63S. Guess what? Guess what the last three that I'm finna say? I'm finna throw this way over top. AMG, man. Oh my, my, my. Yeah, I said AMG. So let's get right into it. What's up, guys? So, right before we get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to New Rochelle Chevrolet for providing me with this car. Man, y'all go down there and mess with them, man. They can give you all your needs, man. You need for a sports car, you need for a family SUV, anything you need, they got it, man. Just make sure you go down there and uh, ask for AJ and tell them Linda sent you and get you all the way to go from there. Let's go back to the video. Here, y'all, your 2018 E63 AMG. Yeah, look at the front of that thing. Screaming luxury. They're going around this thing, man. Going on the wheels right here. You see, we got Pirellis. We got wrapped around here. Let's find it. Let's find it. Let's find it. I know we got right there, guys. You guys see two 65 35s, all 20s in the front. See them brick AMG Brumbos right there. At a good 600 horsepower, this thing packing. Keep on going around that black, the black on black. Come on now, Mercedes Benz luxury chauffeur. You know what I mean? Keep on going around. Oh, hold on, we gotta see what's going in the back because you know it ain't the same. We know it ain't the same time. So you see in the back, we got 295 30s all 20s. Man, that's a nice little matte back, matte black rims right there. Mm hmm. Going to the back. I like this little. Like this, this little spoiler right here. Like it ain't a lot, but it. I don't know. Do do just enough. So you got see the quads at the back. So you got the AMG. I'm back on both of them, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, that real deal right there. And keep going on the other side. The same as the other side. See right here. You got V8 by Turbo, Fomatic. Ain't no game, man. This ain't a game. That thing ain't looking clean. It's dirty, but it look clean. So let's get into the exciting part. They're going on the inside. Okay, going to the inside, showing y'all the key fob first. You see, we got this nice gloss black, just a shiny gloss key fob, which feel good. It's a, it's a plastic, but it still feel good. Look good too. You got your lock, your unlock, basically your alarm, and your trunk button right there. You see what it? A M G. Come on, man. Whoa. Putting this in my pocket. Going to the door right here. Does have a look um, capacitor button right here? You can touch. You can lock it, and you see the mirrors fold in as well. But so we gonna unlock this thing. You see the mirrors fold back out. Gonna open it up. I went to the inside door panel here. You see we got all of your seat uh, controls. You go forward, backward, all that, man. You got your memory seating right here. You got your heated and cool seat right there, as you can see. You see that premium sound system right there. And look at the, y'all know, y'all know Mercedes, man. Mercedes Benz go, the, the interior just crazy. Look at that. I just, I don't know, man. All that look good to me. We come down here, you got your lock. Uh, your lock and unlock right here, door handle, all your window controls. Down here, you got a little bit more storage here. The truck button. Right here, you do see AMG. They make sure you don't forget. Well, let's get in here, man. 66285. Start this thing up. Mm. I 
don't know if y'all can hear that, that little exhaust, but man, it's just short, quick, and sound good. But before I even get started on anything, y'all, before I get started on anything, just look at the, the, the two screens. Look at the two screens, man. That's all I'm saying. Just look at the two screens. Going to the steering wheel right here, as you guys can see, man, this is a sporty steering wheel, and I like this. It feels a little chunky, I ain't gonna lie, but man, you need it for six, you got 600 horsepower. What you see right here, you got your Mercedes uh, emblem right there. And just look at the outside of the steering wheel, y'all. Y'all see AMG right here, but you got the suede right here. It's a little it, it's a little worn down, but you got the suede right here. You got your leather with your little center, man. This steering wheel look good. It look good, man. But coming up here, you see, this is basically how you control everything over here. And then for time, as you can see, you got your voice command, your phone control, things of that nature. Coming up here, you basically got uh, with your radio, your volume, and things like that. And also got the capacitor button here to control everything, your, your screen right there. All right, over here to your left side. So all these buttons here, guys, are basically your shade in the back. So I'm gonna show you, you can let your shade up, which is already up, so I guess I'll let it down. Come on, man. That ain't luxury to the max. We're going to now you see this button right here is for so you can raise the vehicle and lower it. You see right there, I just pressed it. So it's basically raising the vehicle. So basically I asked suspension, let it up and down. Adaptive uh, cruise control, you turn off your parking sensors and there's all the other buttons over there. I mean, back over here to this glorious, look at this man. What? Two smack screens. Now this is very lovely now, but the only thing that I don't like about it it's not touchscreen, guys. This is not touchscreen at all. If this was touchscreen, oh, this would be, even though it's already crazy now, don't get me wrong, but this would be something stupid. Going to this screen here, man, this thing is massive. Massive. Do y'all see this? Y'all say this ain't big enough for y'all? I don't know. I don't know. Something wrong. Something. But as you guys see, the big screen right here, uh, you see you got your navigation, you got your radio, media, phone, connect your vehicle, your system. So, they're basic stuff on here, man. We're coming down here to, so you got your four vents right here in this this gloss, black piano trim with the little lines in it going across. And you also, you guys also see the, the ambient lighting here too as well. How it's going all the way across. That's one thing I always loved about Mercedes. I always loved it, cause nighttime it looked crazy. But coming down here, man, you see, you got all your your regular climate control, you know, things of that nature. You got your uh, other buttons down here, Nav navigation, radio, media. You got your luxurious clock, your telephone, and you know, all your other little buttons and hazards and stuff like that. So come right here, you see you got AMG. I'm telling you, in this car, they make sure that you know what you in. You in the AMG, man. You ain't in no regular Mercedes Benz. So open this thing up, you got a little bit more storage on the hip. You got two cup holders. Look, look more down there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But you see right here, man, you got a USB. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a wireless charging pair, guys. That is a wireless charging pair right there, so that's very nice. Down here, so this is how you control that screen there. So, you see right here, just like a capacitive, like this, you know, capacitive touch. Or when you press down on it to click something, it's like a little, it's a little pop to it. So, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can hear that. But yeah, man, so it's basically, if you guys had an Android before, or you got one now, you see you got your bag, you go forward, and uh, basically your home button right there, so you guys know what all that is about. This right here is for how you, you know, you can, you turn dial, basically, you see how it's going up and down, if I was on anything else, so I can move around on the navigation and stuff like that, so. But coming to the other buttons, the exciting things, you see is dynamic right here, so let me show you your different modes, so. As you guys can see, oh, we starting that race. So you got your individual, your comfort, your sport mode, sport plus, and you got racing mode. The racing mode. This thing is no joke, man. No joke. We're coming right down here. Y'all, the other button you see right here, basically, I press this here. As you can see, basically, your suspension, go for sport, got all your other modes. Turn off your, your traction control, your volume. You see you have a exhaust button here, as you can see. So it's a different exhaust. I'm gonna let you guys listen to that now. So y'all 
nah, he off the rip. That that sport mode, that sport mode definitely changes up the exhaust. So it ain't just no, you know, just a button. It definitely changes it up. Coming on down here, uh, you see you got your auto on and off. Basically, you know, when the car, when you come to a stop, the car cuts off to try to save gas. And you also have, basically, you press your cameras here and just shows you different cameras. Uh, I keep forgetting, I'm thinking this is a touch screen. We see it show you front. So, whole around right, the 360 view. Everything, man. You see your armrest right here. You got this butterfly switch, one touch. Open up oh so lightly. But <laughs> in here, you got a decent amount of storage in it. Do some more storage here and put some things in. Uh, you got two more USBs down there, as you can see. Uh, so, yeah, man. Coming to these seats. So, look at the seats, y'all. Look at these seats. So, these seats are, I say, in the middle. I want to say in the middle, like, up here at the top, it's feeling a little harder. Maybe just, you know, how the material stretched out. But just feeling down here. I mean, it's, it's definitely a decent, you know, um, I won't say rough material. But, you know, it's rugged. But it's just not like BMW rugged. Like if you look at this, see how it's smooth, and then you look at BMW uh, leather, it just it feels different. But this feels very nice, guys. You got the Alcantara going across here with your AMG in the seat right there, and also got a little bit more imprints in the in the headrest right there. So, and these seats, how I'm fitting here, yeah, they hug you a little bit. They don't hug you too much. They hug you just right. Over here back to this uh once again how lovely it looks with the ambient lighting right under it you really i know you really can't see it heavy right now because we're in daytime but down here you got a glove compartment which is i don't know if that's tricking me but it's like a a decently big size glove compartment i don't know over here to the passenger side basically the same as the driver side um you got your um, heated and cooled seats right there, seat controls, memory seating, lock and unlock, door handle, um, and now you got a little bit more storage on there, guys. Window controls right there as well. Up here, you have your rear view mirror, as you guys can see. Um, going up here, you have your sunglasses for the men and the ladies, too. All your lighting and everything like that. Well, coming up here, look at the man and Man, I don't know what to say about it. It just look good. <laughs> that thing look crazy, man. Look at that. I'm gonna open it up for y'all. Whole thing over there. Look at that beautiful, pretty sky. Man, coming as you guys can see in the back as well. So it's not like a, a full, just glass roof or door panoramic uh, sunroof. But you got like this separate, separate sunroof in the back as well. That's that ain't nice, man. We're gonna let this back. Just give y'all an overall view on how it feels to be in the E63 AMG. Mm, quite nice. Y'all gonna see how I'm feeling here. So I do, of course, have to see all the way back. But look at me, and this is where my feet under the pedals, right? I'm stretched out. Okay, let's say I'm driving, foot over here. My foot on the brake right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to think about getting me a Mercedes Benz. Man, I think this deserves another look, y'all. Let me give y'all another. Let me give y'all another. Man, quality. Now let's head to the back seats. Right, going into the back seats, as you see on the on the back uh, door handle as well, you do have the combustible button on there to to lock the door if you need coming to the back you see on the door panel here you see you have your shade you let it up if the sun getting too bad you know what i mean you got your kids back there whatever may not you got this it's leather very really not even padded but this feels good leather feel good you got that same gloss with the lines and the trim going on on the back you do have heated seats in the back as well your premium sound system right there door handle window controls and more storage on there guys i'm telling you yeah i didn't see it like 30 times during the video but that trim is crazy what they put like this uh, aluminum seal like bro it's crazy but we're gonna get in here man 66285 mm. now guys i did move the seat up just a little bit when i thought the normal person said this now this, this is not a like one of the big um you know mercedes but uh 
you guys gotta see how I fit in. I wanna say it's cramped. I just guys, my, my knees are touching the back of the seat, but like it's not cramped. Like, what? Like, I say I can take a little road trip in here. You know, I, think I can take a decent little road trip. I wanna say like a very long road trip, but you know, I can do it for a little bit. Now here, you see you have two vents right here. You can basically got your your back passenger is your climate control there. You got I lay here to charge the phone or whatever it may be. And you got a just a little bit more, I guess, storage right here to put or maybe a cord or something in right there, you know what I mean? In the back, you have the same seats continuing here with that nice leather, the suede line going across here. Man, these seats really do feel nice. Right here to your back passenger door panel. Basically the same as the driver's side back uh, door panel. Got that same trim that I've been loving so much. You see the ambient light on the bottom right there with that jungle green. That look crazy, man. <laughs> you got your heated seats, your premium sound system, door handle, window controls, and a little bit more storage under there, guys. Coming right here in the middle, you do have cup holders. It's not a standard cup holder. You just see how, you know, Mercedes like and smooth it comes out. So, you know, it, it looks like nothing is here, but in the back, your passengers have a little bit more storage here. So, they got papers or anything they need to put away. Hey, you got it. So, we're going to put these right back in there. Let me just give y'all another view of this E63 AMG. Look at the, the double sunroofs. Man. This is a sight. This is a sight, man. Let's hear to see how much trunk space is in this luxury beast. Going into the trunk, but now before we go in there, you cannot ignore the sound that's coming out the back. Listen to that. If you hate a Mercedes, or if you had something against them, you know, anything like that, you need to change your mind right now. I hope this video changed your mind. You need to stop. Man. We're going into the trunk. So hit the button here. Put that thing up. You see it open up all the way for you. And you see how much space is in the back of this thing. Can you say daily driver? I think you can. Plenty, plenty, plenty of space back here. Open this up. I mean, look a little crazy out there, but you guys can see everything that's going on down there battery and everything but yeah so we're gonna hit this button here do that thing right down and let's check out what the what's in the front we're making it rumble like that Man. i know this is what y'all ready to see right here y'all heard that rumble like y'all like y'all mercedes haters y'all was like oh yeah we need to hear that hold on hold on let me get it on there we go man now it's all covered up but you best believe all right that covers and it ain't a game. See that right here, handcrafted. Wow, what they say, Martin, some Hawkman, oh, some Mercedes AMG in Germany. That's your twin turbo V8 pushing out 603 horsepower, y'all. Six, y'all looking at 600 horses right now. Ooh, AMG. I'm saying they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna let y'all forget. They ain't gonna let you know. Man. We're gonna let that thing back down. And that's your 2018 E63 AMG. One more, one more time. It's right there. Man. Yeah, so there y'all go, man. This is 2018 E63 AMG. Woo, this is a treat. This definitely is a treat, man. I'm telling y'all, I never I always said that I don't think I would buy a Mercedes just because my taste is sporty, right? So I like, like I got my Camaro, I like Chargers and stuff like that. But this, like I said, this definitely changed my mind about just sport and all, because it's just everything in one package, y'all. So, man, y'all, y'all, y'all got it, man. man. Yeah, definitely flip my mind. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all comment what y'all think about this Mercedes Benz. If y'all don't leave a comment, and y'all look at this video, man, and y'all don't think this is nice or anything like that, I don't know, I don't know what to say to you. Again, yeah, I enjoyed this one, y'all. Make sure, make sure y'all hit that post notification bell as well. 
tell y'all be notified every time I post so y'all can see crazy cars like this. <laughs> that thing look clean too, boy. But this car is available here at Chevrolet and New Rochelle. So if you guys see this, y'all like it, y'all wanna come down here and drive and get it, come holler at my boy AJ here, man. I'm gonna put his uh, information in the description down below. So like I said, if y'all like it, come down here, come holler at my boy AJ, can we get y'all out with it? Yeah, yeah, man. But uh, that's another one. MJ Carplay. Out.